What's up everybody, Mike here. Uh, I made a goat milk flan. The ingredients that you're going to need for the flan are super, super simple. We have a total of one and a half cups of plain white sugar divided into one cup and half cup increments. You have four whole eggs, two cups of milk, two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm going to walk you through all of the steps next. So before I go through the actual process to make the ingredients into the final cookable dish, I wanted to walk you through some prep that you should probably do. So I have some hot water that is inside my kettle here, and I have a baking dish with some ramekins that are inside it. I also have some foil that has been pre-fit to just pop right over on top of my ramekins so that once they are filled with the custard that I don't have to worry about fitting it on because it'll be hot in there. So I also have this flexible cutting board that is off to one side because it is going to allow me to pour in my water without worrying about it getting into any of those molds. So I'm gonna pour in this hot water until it comes up to about um, a third of the way up my ramekins. And then this is going to sit and heat up those ramekins so that they are nice and warm and the caramel does not set whenever I put them in. So I'm just gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna make the caramel next. For the caramel part of my flan, I have a small saucepan over medium high heat that I am going to dump in one cup of sugar and I'm gonna let this come to a boil and get a nice golden brown color before I portion it into my six ramekins. I'm going to now turn the heat down to a medium so that it doesn't scorch and I'm just gonna watch this for about the next 10 minutes until it is ready to pour. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like whenever it's ready to pour next. So as you can see, my caramel has turned into a nice golden amber color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and portion this into those ramekins. I'm gonna show you what that looks like next. So my caramel has been portioned and I swirled it around on the bottom so that it would cover the entire thing. Now I'm gonna be making the custard. In a large mixing bowl, I have four whole eggs that have come up to room temperature. And the mixing bowl has a spout so that it's easier to pour over the caramel in my ramekins later on. So I'm gonna take a half cup of sugar and I'm just gonna get this whisked together. Now that my eggs are thoroughly combined, I'm gonna whisk in my milk and my vanilla. In this case, I'm using goat milk, but you can use whatever type of milk you want. And now I'm gonna portion out my custard evenly over my ramekins before putting them into the oven. All right, my ramekins are filled, so they're going to go into a 300 degree oven for about 45 minutes for these sizes right here. But your times may vary from anywhere from 40 all the way up to an hour, depending upon how large your molds are. So I'm going to start checking them in about 40 minutes. I want them to just jiggle, and I'm going to show you what they look like when I pull them out of the oven next. So I pulled my flan from the oven and you can see that they are still jiggly. A little bit of the caramel has come up through the custard as it liquefied again. But I'm gonna let these sit to room temperature, then pop them into the refrigerator for about four hours before I actually enjoy them, which you're gonna see next. And that is how you make my 
goat milk flan. I really hope you make this, but for right now, just look at my face. Mm. Oh yeah, you gotta make 